Hi guys, it's Shay here, and this is another episode of Shake It Up TV on the go. Yes, I am interrupting my own regularly scheduled programming to bring you a message from the universe. Uh, it's Wednesday, and it's a travel day for me. Um, my last vlog like this was at an airport in Tampa, and now I'm in a cab in New York City. Um, and I'm sorry I'm not bringing you a workout, but I really wanted to uh, share some news with you and tell you this story. So, uh, a lot of you out there know um, that I work, or I have been working for Flywheel Sports as a fly bar instructor. Some of you guys are my clients. And uh, I've been there for a little over four years. I started as a front desk staff, and Flywheel is celebrating its five year anniversary this year which is very exciting because uh, I remember when we just had one studio and then we shared a space at the JCC the Jewish Community Center and I, I used to check people in from a closet literally like a sink a table and then brooms and shoes and now it's a national brand that has locations all over the country and I started out in New York City and I moved to LA and um, I have some very sad news but Tuesday night was my last night teaching fly bar for flywheel sports and um, it didn't really make a big deal out of it I left very quietly and gracefully it was a really really hard decision for me to make that I struggled with for a long time but as you know my theme for this year is currency and I've been evaluating where my energy flow is is going and I'll tell you this decision was really hard because flywheel is a really great job it pays really well they take care of me it's um, it offers me stability and security and the comfort of a community and a familiar place to go to every day and uh, I've gotten very very good at it over the years but I have all these like big goals and dreams and my Resist 360 classes are really taking off and I want to turn this YouTube channel into a show and I want to really get involved in more creative projects and um, you know my, my energy output is feeling really scattered so I decided to take a leap and um, and just walk away from something that I really love and that's been really good to me to try something new, which sounds totally crazy, but here's, here's the message from the universe. The weird thing is, is that I made a conscious decision to put aside my acting career for a whole year and focus on fitness. And I told myself, my, I told myself I'm gonna check in one year later and if I hate it or it's not going anywhere, I'm gonna go back to my first passion, my, my love for theater and acting. And a year later, um, I was doing really well. My classes were selling out and um, my playlists were being shared. I was getting great reviews and I was like, you know, this is awesome. I really feel really good about this and I felt like I was using all my skills so I just kept going. And um, here I am today, right? So I'm making this decision. I want to go back to some more other creative projects and somebody reminded me of that, of that moment that I made that decision. Uh, I put in my notice to leave. I was reminded of the moment I made the conscious decisions. I came home that night and somebody called me and asked me if I wanted to audition for a film. <laughs> I was like, what? I haven't been on an audition in years. I don't even know how to do it anymore. But they found me because they watched my butt exercise video. I have a series called Four Weeks to a Better Butt that I shot last summer. You should watch it, go check it out. And they were like, you would be perfect for this part. And I said, you know what, why not? Sent me the sides, I go to the audition, I squeeze it in yesterday before I leave for New York City. I really thought I sucked. I mean, I really thought I sucked hard. I'm really hard on myself, we all know that. And I'm working on, on correcting that negative chatter. But I'm like, oh, I didn't make it. But that was fun, who cares? I didn't care. I kind of felt good that I, that I took a chance and I took a risk. And I went to this audition and I got a call an hour later and I got the part. <laughs> And I fell on the floor laughing. I mean, how wild is this? You know, my first audition in forever, first call from anybody to even do a project like this, and I actually booked the job. So when I get back from New York, I'm gonna start shooting a movie. <laughs> now, I don't know if that was my first intention for for uh, you know what I wanted to do after leaving Flywheel, but it's just very telling. You know, when you stop um, the energy flow for one thing and you really focus on something else, you know, it's, it, 
that's what happened. So, you know that saying like when one door closes and another door opens? It's really, really true and I know it sounds cliche, but when it actually happens to you, uh, there's real weight to that. You know, I by just simply shutting off that energy flow, that door that I shut a long time ago reopened and I didn't have to walk through it, but um, I decided to and a few other things have happened to me over the weeks that have been pretty surprising um, that I'm really looking forward to diving into. So I just wanted to share this little story with you and leave you with this thought. Do not be afraid to leap. Do not be afraid to leave your comfort zone. Something will catch you and there will be something there waiting for you and if your intention is strong and you know, you're fired up, you're awake, you're aware, and you and you know where you want to go, and you're clear about your goals and your dreams and your theme. Um, the universe will take care of you in very mysterious <laughs> ways. We just got to roll through the punches and live life like an adventure and be open to what comes next. So that's it. I'll come back to you next Wednesday with an ab workout, I promise. But uh, if you love this story or something like this has happened to you, I'd love to hear from you. So leave me a comment in the sections below. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, and find me, friend me, follow me on social media because I love talking to you. And I'm going to be heading to new places and doing new things. So you really got to connect with me because you never know where I'm going to pop up. Uh, thanks for listening, guys. I'll see you next time. Oh, one other thing, guys. If you're in New York and you're watching this video, I'm teaching a free class at Athleta Flatiron on Valentine's Day, February 14th. I have a huge, huge, huge nightclub fitness dance party event. It's called Resist 360 Sweat Party. It's hosted by Kiwi Sweat. That's going to be at 7 p.m. at Club Cielo in the Meatpacking District on February 19th. That's a Thursday. And check this out. I am going to be doing free more free workouts. Don't you love this? I'm giving it away, guys. I'm going to be doing a free workout every single morning through kineticlive.com. So follow me for real on social media. And uh, I always post something on Instagram and it's usually on my website and my Facebook page and everything is Shaco Stabi. Um, I want to see you there. Tune in, show up, work out, sweat with me, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.